Hello, I'm Anna Lundy. I'm CTL for the Art and Photography Department. I'm just about to show you the Fine Art GCSE course. I've got a PowerPoint to show. I'm going to talk you through the slides and hopefully answer any of the questions. You can also find information about this in our school prospectus as well. So this is Fine Art GCSE. Um, this is the course. We follow the AQA specification. That means that it's 60% coursework and 40% of the final grade is the exam. We run over the two years and everything from the start of year 10 to the end of year 11 can be counted um, within that portfolio of assessment. So it's quite important that from the start, you try your best, you work as hard as you can and you get the homeworks in regularly. We look at lots of different units and hopefully um, we cover a wide range of different subject matter there, looking at different artists, materials, media and techniques. Um, I have one of the classes and then Mr Gordon or Mr Withy rotate between them on who gets the other class each year. Topics that we cover are still life, where we look at um, a large scale still life setup in the classroom. We look at positive, negative shape, we look at tone, form. Um, the 3D properties, we look at how to use a pencil properly to achieve different textures, different tones, and then we are introduced to each separate media um, and do a section of it in lots of different media as well to build up that confidence. Our second unit is narrative storytelling that is based on Botticelli's Birth of Venus, and we look at the composition, we look at some art history within that, we talk about how to analyse a piece, and then the children design their own characters based on a well-known story, but illustrate it using the same composition as Birth of Venus. Our third unit is pattern and colour. Traditionally, we go to the zoo and we start the project looking there. Um, not sure how that's going to look this year, um, but we've got lots of lovely resources that we can work from. Um, there we have the slightly more practical um, kind of lessons where we're looking at printmaking, we're looking at cutout, lots of different knife skills, we're looking at stenciling. So it's a slightly more abstract unit. And the last unit of study is the personal study. This is totally and utterly up to each individual student what they would like to choose for their topic. Obviously, we guide them with it, but if they've got a burning passion to do something in particular, then that's what they do for this unit. Basic equipment. So everybody will work in a sketchbook. So um, we sell sketchbooks here or you're welcome to get your own. You need a basic set of art supplies. So 2B pencils, putty rubbers, coloured pencils, little set of watercolours. If you've got oil pastels, great. If you've got a set of gouache, excellent. If you've got a set of acrylics, brilliant. But you can use all of those materials within the classroom. Um, if you've got access to a camera, that's good because often we will take some photos of things to record. So whether you're working on portraits or if you're looking at natural forms, getting photos of these is a really good way to start your drawing. These are some examples of the students' work. Um, so you can see these were homeworks that were set uh, to do with the Still Life project. So you have a watercolour apple, looking at how to use the watercolour. We have a coloured pencil leaf, looking at shadow, highlight and form. We have a biro uh, feather here. Often we don't draw in biro. Um, this is quite a kind of uh, blaze of glory here because you can't rub it out. Um, and we're also thinking about working the other way around. So having a black piece of paper and drawing the highlights rather than the shadows with a white pencil. Um, like I said, we do work in sketchbooks. Oh, that's gone a bit strange there. I'll go back to that one. Uh, my slide's gone out of order, but you can see that there's lots of um, lovely investigation work uh, here where students are taking some of the actual things and sticking them in their books. They've got some photos here, they've got some study sketches and drawings, and they're developing it on with a collage. These are some of the final outcomes that students have done based on various projects. So the first one here, that you can see on the left is the pattern and colour project. The one on the right hand side is in response to a personal study based on portraiture. We've got a landscape at the bottom, it's a lovely seascape, don't we wish we were all there now? And then we've got some portraits on the right hand side. Um, assessment, so um, the course is the same for the coursework and the exam. The assessment is out of four um, assessment objectives. So the first one is all about developing ideas and how you look at your original sources, uh, the artists that you're looking at, the inspiration that you've got and how you develop your ideas accordingly. The second one is how you experiment. So what materials and media and techniques do you use in order to further that idea? The recording is all of the photographs, the initial drawings, sketches, any um, art history, any notes, anything basically that will help you develop your own work. 
And the last assessment objective is your final outcome. So that is what have you learnt? What have you done? How have you resolved that particular unit of work? What is the final thing that you can combine all of that bits of knowledge for? So each of those is marked out of 24. And the, but like I've said before, the coursework is 60% of the final grade. It's the same assessment objective for the final exam. The exam, um, the students get a sheet of paper with six or seven choices on it as starting points. They choose one of those to exam and prep from January till April using the same methods of sketchbook, looking at the same ways of working. I mark everything along with my colleagues um, and then it is assessed externally by a moderator. So what's, what's after GCSE? I mean, it's quite a shock to be thinking about that when you're really thinking about GCSEs. But if you look in long term, we also offer A-levels in fine art and photography. Um, going on from that, we have a massive uptake for foundation course. The one in Trowbridge is really popular, as well as the one in Bath. There's also ones in Bristol. We've had people go to London, France, um, up to Scotland. So, um, you know, the world is your oyster there. Um, that then, in turn, will you can progress on to any arts-based degree, so fine art, illustration, textiles, graphics, um, your choice. What do we want for our students? I mean, I'm really fortunate that our students are committed to the subject. It does take time. It is a visual subject. It takes time to do it right, but it's not a chore. It's a, it's a love. It's a real passion that these students want to work and work hard and get better every time. They are willing, really willing to learn. If that is you, then we'd love you to enrol on the course. Um, we set work every week that you'd have to do to um, complete your portfolio with. But it's lovely to see how you start and how you finish and that amazing journey that you go on in between. So hopefully that's answered any questions. Um, thank you very much for listening.